This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Games Workshop have recently issued out an insipid little notice to friendly local game stores and it is a devastating message. Get ready to pay more money for less Warhammer. That's right, Warhammer prices are going up. But it's even worse than that because Games Workshop are telling independent retail stores you are not the future of Warhammer. And as hobbyists, we should be terrified of the future that Games Workshop have proposed. So, Games Workshop have issued out a notice to all third-party retailers. And it says this. Dear customer, we are writing to you in order to give you notice of an approximate 5.8% increase in Games Workshop trade prices on selected products including all plastic box sets and paints. This will take effect on the 19th of December. Please note that this increase will not have any impact on the recommended retail prices of our products. Kind regards, Games Workshop Trade Team. And this will take effect on the 19th of December, just before Christmas. What a great little Christmas present. This is an absolutely devastating message to independent retailers. What it basically means is that Games Workshop are increasing their prices on all their products. All their plastic kits and all their paints. All of them. At least those sold to retailers, but will not be increasing the recommended retail price. So GW won't be increasing the price for consumers, for hobbyists like us, in theory. So, you might be thinking, this is good for us. Well, kind of, but not really. What this means in practice is that if you go to a local Games Workshop store or if you go on to the Games Workshop website where they sell all the Warhammer products at the recommended retail prices, then the prices will be the same. Aha! Games Workshop have not increased prices. So that's kind of good. But your local independent store, or even an online retailer like Wayland Games or Element Games, where traditionally prices are lower than the recommended retail price, those stores are going to have to pay more money for Warhammer products now. And this means that the ball is now in the court of these independent stores as to whether or not they're going to pass this price increase on to consumers. It's not an enviable position. So as many people know, third-party stores often feature discounts of up to 20% off Warhammer. These discounts are excellent. I totally recommend that people buy from independent stores as opposed to directly from GW. I say support your local store. Or if you want to buy online, then I have some affiliate links in the description below. These stores will often present a huge discount on the recommended retail price from Games Workshop. And the reason for this is very simple. Basically, Games Workshop make an incredible margin on all of their products. Warhammer is the pizza of miniatures. They are incredibly cheap to make, but super expensive to buy on the street. And if you find one unattended at a bar, no one's gonna blame you if you have a little bite. And this fact allows independent retailers to negotiate with Games Workshop for deep discounts on Warhammer products as a collective because they understand that Games Workshop have a little wiggle room in how they're pricing Warhammer. And Games Workshop can't afford to annoy independent retailers. You have to understand that like 55% of Games Workshop's revenue are made through independent stores. That's more than half. Independent stores make up a huge part of Games Workshop sales. This means that on the one hand, Games Workshop need to keep their retailers sweet because those retailers buy so much product. Hence, GW sells Warhammer cheap to third-party stores. Therefore, third-party stores can discount Warhammer for us, the consumers. But on the other hand, GW really quacking resent this. GW do not like discounting models. They would much prefer that people buy directly from them. In fact, in their latest annual report, Games Workshop argued that sales of Warhammer were down in Australia precisely because of independent stores selling at a discount. I debunked that in my video 
on that topic. But increasingly, Games Workshop have grown hostile to independent stores under the current executive leadership. And you can kind of see why. Games Workshop want to be Apple. They want hobbyists to rely on them for absolutely everything. They want it to be the Warhammer hobby, GM. Not the Wargaming one. <laughs> And as a result, they've begun trying to encourage hobbyists to exclusively shop with them. We have seen all sorts of promotions over the last year to try and pull hobbyists away from cheaper retailers who sell a multitude of different games and systems and into the vaunted GW store and website where Warhammer is the only option. So for example, Games Workshop have offered coupons of like 10 bucks that can only be redeemed on their website. So essentially you can get like two pots of paint and, and pay, pay for shipping, I guess. Or you can get some commemorative coins if you spend like a hundred bucks in their store. Oh, or if you pre-order box sex directly with Games Workshop, they'll do things like have a limited edition measuring gauge, for example. You know, third parties don't get to sell those. They're, they're kind of made of metal. So it's clear to me that Games Workshop are strategically trying to undercut and undermine their supposed trade partners. It's a crushing game of Europa Universalis. And by increasing their prices for their retail partners, but not in their own website and stores, Games Workshop make buying directly from them a slightly more attractive proposition for hobbyists. Now, in fairness to GW, one thing they do have going for them is a nice website. I actually use it to browse their library of miniatures, but I, I then buy from independent stores at a discount. I mean, there is a cost of living crisis right now. But you can see how a good website is one of the most important things to have if you're planning on selling or really doing anything online. Which is why I am so happy that Squarespace have sponsored this video. Squarespace are a platform for website construction, like building your own miniatures, but digitally. And it's easier, for real. Squarespace make it very easy to make a beautiful website. They have pioneered this block system that I absolutely adore. Using this and one of the Squarespace templates allowed me to make a website of my own in under an hour. And it looks really, really good and atmospheric. And I have zero experience with design or art or most any skills. Squarespace is just that intuitive and easy to use regardless of your skill level. If you're someone with a passion project or a business or a blog or a portfolio or tons and tons and tons of pictures of your little space brains, then Squarespace is the tool for you to get your own little corner of the internet for yourself. Just try it and see. Squarespace offer a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash discourse miniatures to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. <clears throat> like I uh, mentioned, cost of living increase. Okay, so GW have increased prices for independent retail stores. These independent retailers could just decide not to pass this increase in cost onto the consumer and instead just eat it themselves? Well, yeah, in theory, but that's a really tough ask, especially now. This is a really bleak time for independent stores. They're really being squeezed. Lots of them are going under. There has been a huge increase in electricity prices, in gas prices, fuel prices, raw material costs, shipping, and all of this is being acutely felt by both big and small stores. Now, that's not to say that Games Workshop aren't also facing the same issues. Their underlying costs are also going up, but GW can't increase their prices for consumers anymore. I actually think that Games Workshop have found the roof of how much wheels and average war gamers are willing to spend in an uncertain economic context and Games Workshop know it. And they don't want the optics of being seen to be increasing prices because people like me will rightfully slam them for squeezing consumers. And this is a problem for Games Workshop because as their annual report in July showed, while their revenue was up in the first half of 2022 when compared to 2021, their core operating profits were down as a result of increasing underlying costs and raw materials. In other words, GW are selling more models at higher prices and making less money. 
And don't get me wrong, Games Workshop have been secretly passing these costs on to us, but they've been careful about it. Their price increases from the last couple of years were wildly above inflation, so that has mitigated some of these increasing costs. They've also been making use of bundles a lot more to upsell customers. They've been making use of limited editions as well to upsell customers. Exclusive models have been showing up in almost every single box. These tactics have all effectively served to increase the price of playing Warhammer. Remember, there's no increase in underlying cost to Games Workshop for selling something as a limited edition, but they can sell it for more money than it would have been worth if it was just, you know, a product to be sold. Now, unfortunately for Games Workshop, I don't think that this has worked particularly well, in my opinion. I actually think that it's been putting increasing pressure on a decreasing population of players. Long term, I think these tactics are pretty garbo. But in the here and now, DW are using these methods to mitigate some of the current economic costs back. Hence their increasing revenue, even if they are making less profit. But GW can't increase prices anymore. They just can't. Not without alienating even more of their audience, which they just can't afford to do right now. They've got more competition in the market than ever. And they saw the collapse of sales in Australia where prices have just gotten way, way out of hand. And if a similar thing happened in the UK or USA, GW's growth forecasts would look extremely dire very quickly. So in short, I think that Games Workshop have finally realized that in an economic recession, maybe customers are becoming more price sensitive, as the analysts like to say. Thanks for joining me in the real world, GW. I've been beating this drum for at least a year now. If only they would listen to me a little bit more, huh? Still, nice of them to finally get the memo. Unfortunately, this has meant that Games Workshop, instead of passing the costs on to the consumer, have passed the costs on to retail stores instead. But this is completely wrong. These increasing costs should not be getting passed on to retail stores or consumers. Games Workshop should be eating these costs themselves. War Games Atlantic have done so. They're a smaller company which means they have less resiliency against these types of economic circumstances. And they are in the exact same business. They manufacture and produce hard plastic miniatures. They're just eating the cost. No price increases from them. Games Workshop, not the same story. GW have incredible margins on their products. Now, I know the two executives, the only point of grossly high margins is to make them tons more money, but it seems to me, as a humble human being that lives on this earth, that high margins actually gives you a ton of flexibility and an increase in capacity to withstand these exact sorts of uncertain economic realities. To me, a high margin means that when your underlying costs increase, but you think that customers will refuse to pay more, you have a greater scope to keep prices low. Sure, your margin will go from like 30% to 20% at an extreme. You'll make, therefore, a lot less money. But you're still going to be making lots and lots of money. And in the long term, the long term, you're still going to be growing just a little slower. Games Workshop can afford to weather an increase in underlying costs, but many independent stores cannot. And actually, that's what Games Workshop are sort of banking on here. This isn't an innocent increase. This is a calculated and strategic move from Games Workshop executives. They don't want independent stores to eat this cost. They want stores to pass the increase in costs onto the consumer, making third-party discounts less attractive so that hobbyists are more likely to shop directly with Games Workshop. This increase to retail prices has the dual purpose of driving sales from independent retail stores to GW Direct while mitigating Games Workshop's own underlying cost increases. And they don't even look like a bad guy for doing so. We, we didn't increase the prices, it was your local store. <sighs> and on the other hand, if your local store tries to eat the cost and as a result goes under, well, that's good for Games Workshop because now you'll just have to buy directly from them 
as God intended. This price increase is not insignificant for local stores. This is an increase of like 6%. That's huge. That moves a heavy intercessor from like 65 bucks to 69 bucks. Okay. And spread across the entire range, if stores decide to pass this on to consumers, Warhammer's going to be getting a lot more expensive. And this sucks. I mean, I can see the business strategy from GW behind it, but it is putting pressure on a part of the hobby pipeline that can't really take it. And in practice, it does mean price increase for the more savvy consumers out there, aka people who are watching these videos. I do have a Patreon. I'm just saying they're a savvy consumer. I got a, I got a Patreon. But look, I don't see how independent stores can eat this cost. Considering the current economic context, like, there's no way. Prices are gonna have to go up. And this means we're gonna see worse discounts in future. This is despicable. And clearly, Games Workshop are banking on no one really caring about this or knowing about it. But I do. I see you, Games Workshop. This isn't getting hidden in a tweet in between a bunch of new cool models, new product releases. Oh, look at the new miniatures. No, no, this is actively making our hobby worse. This is actively hurting businesses in our hobby. And I advocate for consumers on this channel. But as consumers, we should want there to be lots and lots of independent stores giving us the best prices possible. GW should be weathering this cost increase. They have the capacity to do so. Local stores don't. And we're going to see small game stores and maybe some big ones close partially as a result of these types of increases. So yeah, quack you games workshop. Now so far we don't know whether or not any of the bigger stores are going to be passing on this increase in discounts. So I'll be keeping an eye on this. I'll be following this story and I'll be bringing it to you if there's any new developments. And if you do want to help support more content like this, please check out my Patreon for ad-free content and exclusive live streams. There's one happening really soon in fact. So go over to patreon.com slash discourse ministers to check that out. And if you're curious about the current financial situation of Games Workshop and why they have done this, then you'll really want to check out this video here. And as always, a huge thanks to Sonic Bread and to all my patrons. Bye bye